Oh, Mega Ten goodies are actually in. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. I have 2022 Mega Tins in stock. I will leave a link down below after you guys see all of these reveals. I've been asked by countless people, hey, Robbie, you got tins? Hey, you got tins? Yes, I do. The first image up here on the block for us is going to be none other than some pretty decent reveals, actually. We got Goddess of the Underworld in Seeker Rare, which I'm actually very excited for. Prismatic Seeker Rare for this piece absolutely gorgeous super rare of the ghost mourner okay you know i i actually didn't think i would like this in a super rare but this is fantastic we also have troubled sunny in seeker rare i actually needed one of these because i couldn't find an ultra so fantastic reprints there dragon masquerade over here coming in at a super rare as well good stuff konami they took an ultra and actually downgraded it into a much easier to get form which is good stuff i see that we also have lord of the heavenly sky prison down here in prismatic secret rare as well i'm super excited for that man like so much value to be generated in these tins just off of these first few pictures here like absolutely amazing we also have down here what appears to be prismatic secret rare ghost ogre holy moly man it looks so fantastic like mm, so excited for that and then Dark Ruler No More makes its way in here as an Ultra. So this is now like the fourth reprint of Dark Ruler No More actually coming on into the market. We needed this, ladies and gentlemen. So good stuff, Konami. Next up here, that is the Pot of Prosperity, everybody. Oh my gosh. So many people have been so excited for this. This was the news. I can't believe Konami didn't actually advertise Pot of Prosperity. Like, this is nuts to me that they let this slip through, but it made it. It did it. It's going to be one of the most expensive cards in the set. Kid is in here as a secret rare as well. You yeah, know, we needed it. To be honest with you, Crossout Designator makes its way in here as well as another secret. I'm actually very surprised to see that that got a double reprint straight out of the back. Arm Dragon Level 7 made its way in here as well. And up here at the top right is the first of our new cards, the Revived Sky Dragon. The activation of this card or and its effects all right, cannot be negated. All right, special on a Slife and Sky Dragon from your graveyard, then each player draws until they have six cards in their hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard to place a monster reborn from your deck or graveyard on the top of your deck. And if your beast or Divine Beast monster is in your graveyard, you can draw one card. Whoo! Value Town, baby. Ah, uh, this is Carta Sanctum or Carta Sanctity, like revamped into a trap card. Like players wanted to see something like this for ages, and they finally got the chance to get it. So good stuff for Konami with this one because we definitely needed this. I also see Earth Chan is an ultra rare. The Main Eater Bug is an ultra rare. The Flandry's Field Spell was a secret rare as well. Good stuff with that. And Zuan Wu finally gets a much needed upgrade as well into super rare. And then Arm Dragon level seven makes its way in here as well. So overall, I, I think that these particular cards are amazing. Next up here, Rainbow Bridge of Salvation finally made its way into the TCG. It, they actually took like a majority of the cards that we wanted to see from the previous sets and dropped them in here. That is also a Forbidden Droplet down there in Secret Rare. Yes! Value! Gosh darn it, these tins are amazing. Then we got the Breaking Ruin God. So the activation of this card and its effects cannot be negated. All right, special summon obelisk from your hand or graveyard, and if you do, it is unaffected by your opponent's card effects this turn. If you tribute two or more monsters you control at the same time to activate your card or effect while you control obelisk torment, you banish this card from your graveyard, banish all monsters in your opponent's graveyard, and inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each. That is amazing for value for this. We also got the true sun god. When this card is activated, add one wing dragon or all, or one card that mentions it from your deck to your hand, except for the true sun god. All right, except for the winged dragon or all cannot attack the turn they are special summoned. All right, 
Once per turn during a main phase, you can send this card from your field or great. Oh, cool. You can send this card from your field or one the Immortal Phoenix mode from your deck to the graveyard. Especially with one winged dragon of raw uh, to, from your monster zone. Uh, God, that card is so badly worded, or at least the text is here. Send this card from your field, or one winged dragon uh, raw immortal phoenix from your deck to the graveyard, and then send one winged dragon raw from your monster zone to the graveyard. Um, for for the application of this being a super rare, it's actually kind of useful. I just like the fact that we have like another searcher for the winged dragon raw, and it searches sphere mode. And then of course we got dimension shifter up here as an ultra rare, which is fantastic. And then Mu Beta Fafnir down here as a secret rare. Ooh, and then Spooky Dogwood also makes its way into the tins as a super rare. Okay then. Pushing on along here, Small World is in fact a Seeker Rare as well. You know what? I'm glad to see that we got dual Seeker Rares on this set. We also got the Link into the Vrains. Nice name, by the way. Let's just pass on the monster from the hand that negate its effects, and after it resolves, you have to Link Summon using Monster Control's material. It's actually one of the cool cards that the Praying Kits had, that we'll never actually get to experience because, you know, actually got hit. Um, sorry, meow, meow. I see that we also have ZS Ascend Sage as well. Uh, the Seeker Rare Prismatic Dragoon looks actually amazing. Um, the fact that everything in this set is effectively Prismatic Seeker Rare. Konami definitely went out of their way for the huge upgrades here. I see that we got the DD Assault Carrier as something I don't want to pull. Uh, Ready Fusion also got another reprint as Seeker Rare, which is interesting. We also got Contact with, or contract with the Abyss in here as well. Ash Blossom makes its way into a Prismatic Seeker Rare foiling as well. I'm actually kind of happy to see that they did not take the alternate arts and adapt them into this set because I, I kind of feel like if we had taken those arts then it might have taken away from this set. I also see N Pen is a super rare as well. DPs in the set is another secret rare as well. Alright. And then Nibiru in a well Nibiru is an ultra rare and Ecclesia made its way in here as a secret rare. I haven't seen a lot of other Sword Soul stuff in here as well. Alright, so as we push on along here there's the blue eyes, and there is the red eyes. They are fantastic looking cards, man. Some of the most beautiful pieces in this set. I'm so excited to pick these up and add these to the collection because they just look gorgeous. I see that we also got the Stardust Trail up there as well. Ruddy Rose got a Seeker Rare. Alvis got an Ultra Rare. Good stuff. Lightning Storm also got a much needed reprint in here as well. Diviner made its way in here as a Seeker Rare. I also see that Quadardus, <laughs> poor guy, it got a, at least he got upgraded to a Seeker Rare, right? Like, that's that's something. Dramaturge is a Seeker Rare. Vesquilios is a Super Rare. And then Book of Lunar Eclipse made its way in here as a Super Rare as well. Not too desirable cards, but, like, everything on this image is fantastic, man. Like, ah, I, I can't tell you, like, how excited I am just to get the chance to get some of these like alternate art good stuff cards here. And the last image that we have here is Synchro Overtake, made it in here as an ultra. The Gunkin Sioux ship is a super rare. That is beautiful. I, I, I can't say that I'm shocked, but I'm excited for that. Rocks Roses in here is a secret rare. Scraptor also made it in here as an ultra. Don Mari at Ignister made it as a super as well. Same thing with Stritch. So we got some, well, and Toucan all got upgrades. Like, they did pretty good in terms of the upgrade department for this. Lena made it in as an ultra. I'm not surprised about that. A Luber gets another printing. So that's pretty much a wrap for Despia cards. I also believe, uh, Live Twin uh, Frost up there. Also, I believe also like Branded Opening hasn't been pictured yet, uh, along with a few other like stray cards as well. But to be honest with you, that's like overall what we what we're looking at right now. This set feels amazing, man. Like the secret upgrades are what everybody wanted. Like people wanted people or people wanted entry points here to the set. People wanted good chances to pick up cards, and that's what you have now. I'll take it, guys. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and well, I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace out.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.